GeoGebra is? Well, it's just like the name suggests. It's geometry and algebra, plus things like calculus and graphing. And well, you get it, it's GeoGebra. Let's get started. There's one important, very important step before we begin. Does your screen look like this or this? Your screen needs to look like this. It's 3D view. You can turn on 3D view by clicking on this teeny weeny tiny arrow over here. Okay, now we're ready. We're gonna start by looking at cross sections. Let's open a file. Here you can select the file for the cube. If you don't see the file and you have an internet connection, you can open it from GeoGebra Tube. Each button on the stylus has a different function, which we'll discuss as we explore. The front button on the stylus changes its function based on the menu item selected. Right now, move is selected, so the front button lets you pick up things and move them. Let's practice. Use your stylus to hover over the light blue plane cutting through the cube. Press and hold your front stylus button to select the plane and move it around. Do you know you can create all these shapes? You can even make a hexagon! The left stylus button allows you to move the entire scene left, right, up, down, forward, and backward. Notice that my cross section stays the same when I'm moving the scene. That's because it moves everything as one group. The right stylus button allows the cube to rotate. Pointing the stylus anywhere in the scene and holding the right button will allow you to rotate the cube either clockwise or counterclockwise. To stop rotating, click the right stylus button anywhere in the scene. When you use the front stylus button to select point A or point B, you're able to resize and rotate the cube. Now it's time to learn about the menu buttons, just in case you want to create things by yourself. I've reopened GeoGebra and we'll start by making it full screen and then finding that teeny weeny button to turn on 3D graphics. I'm using my mouse for this part, but now that 3D graphics is open, I'm gonna pick up my stylus. Let's do a little setup before we begin creating things. I wanna turn off the axes and the plane and turn on the grid. All right, we've talked about the stylus and the scene is ready. I just need to point out a couple things about the menu. Notice the blue box around the icon. This means it's selected and my front stylus button will do whatever is selected. Next, notice the little arrow on the menu item. This means there's more options. What should we build? Hmm, a prism. Okay, back to creating things. My instructions are right here. Let's start with a triangle for the base. As you move your stylus over the scene, you'll see the tip of the stylus has changed. I'm ready to create three points to make my triangle base. Click three points in the scene and then back around to the first point to close off the triangle. There should be a brown segment connecting each consecutive point. If this doesn't happen, left click on the points until you see a line. Once all three brown segments are created, we have the base of the prism and wow, I have the prism in my hand. How tall should I make it? This looks good. I'll just click the center button of my stylus to finish. Now we have a prism. You now have the basics of GeoGebra. Have fun exploring, there's so much more to try.